they they had it's cleaver time let's see which team is actually gonna show up in the game this time yeah nah it's not To another. Mine by right, as well as my might. Really good wrap round. Two wards in the clips there, so just control this area completely. Very nicely done by spawn. The battle begins. Oof. Pretty much perfect. All right, that's uh, that's as good as it gets. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Very obnoxious hero level one for sure. But uh, Lil needs to start popping those bangles. That's the weakness that the hero has. Not a lot of uh, mana regenerate on to get uh, a couple of items, a couple of points in that aura. And this mid lane so far, pretty. I mean, relatively even, considering there's a bot on the zoos that feel like one of the boys doing just fine. Like every lane is kind of uh, doesn't seem too too uh, high action because you know sure the Earth has a lot of potential but a Rubik. Dress for uh, this time. Not ever. All right. Crystal Maiden enabling that MP quite well, and I mean Doom. Such a weak hero or a young thing. Not that surprised. No way. That's true. Not, not that common. here being denied constantly only one point in devour so pretty rough for him to really stay in this lane he's gonna pop the scorched earth but uh has to be careful so he doesn't ever stay look at those denies Rubik can cancel the Starbreaker, 
but uh, you can always wait for the telekinesis to be used so that uh, you go for later. So there's a lot of mind plays and uh, things that you can abuse in this lane. Uh, that fire though, kind of owning me here. Uh, uh, zoning, zoos, doing a lot of things right on Wonder Boy. Away from there. by Dalo, instead of diving the CM, they actually hold on to the snowball and they go for the end instead. They kind of baited, uh, uh, just baited them to stay a little bit longer and they're able to take all those kills on the plant. This is very nicely done by Spawn. Um, I don't think you're supposed to get that kill usually. So, really nice face by the Tusk from Dalu. Come in handy. Doing more than alright, I think. He is always in the second network. Really good Quell and Blade there. Yeah. Illusion! Mid lane, don't they? Fine. Radiance oh, nice Tower is under attack. Fighting this takes me back to my days as a road agent. Yeah. Radiance middle tower. Once they attack. have the damage, you do have to live. Radiance uh, the dude not close to his level six, so he can't really TP. I mean, he can, but it wouldn't really be of much use. So they kind of rely on the dude it's to keep on spamming. Oh, Radiance really nice mid block, but uh, they don't have the follow up damage. Lasting this long. I'll hmm? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yes. I have definitely. Somehow, 4k golden, they take the tower, Dream of Cell is farming, but he is totally crippled, very similar to game 1, but at least in game 1 he had that mana void to find kills, and I don't think he has the same mechanism as in Ursa, so this is going to be a jungling Ursa for a long time, and Maman will need to just get 
so much space here for everyone else. They do have vision, but uh, do they have the follow up for Winter Boy? No, really. So it's awkward here. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. All right, we know this is full desperation mode when the dude is skipping Midas. All right, going, yeah, he's going straight up for the mech. He already is skipping the power as well, so they feel the pressure building up. They feel the potential Dyer's that the Plunger has. Oh, we'll see. I mean, I, I kind of respect the decision. I think it's fine, but uh, yeah, the, the nature should actually start doing stuff. The, the next Doom needs to count because Red just wasted the Doom on the NP when he tried to defend bottom last time. And this is one of the reasons why the game kind Dyer's of snowballed towards the plant. Dyer's top tower has got a tower. Now, Ed here means Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I like that. Get stuck, but he is a strong boy. Don't really be messing with that guy. Oh, damn. Okay. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I had a very rare occurrence, but I, I yeah, it definitely happened with me. Yeah, it's okay. Whew. It's it is a late late morning for me, but uh, let's focus on the Dota here. We we see that uh, Mamandaya finished his Kaya. So once he has the shard, that's really when Zeus starts becoming a hero again. If he's lost the ability, then now became a shard. So. That's really, uh, he also got really lucky with the fair strength. They need the, this Doom to be playing as a tanky boy so that the Zeus can soak a little bit of damage. Cause uh, everyone else, like their, their job is kind of weird to execute if they don't win their lanes. Cause the Stusk, you know, he's under farm, doesn't no have a blade. Mortimer, it's not play he's time. for the Rubik. Not so they so don't have any initiation and the Doom is going pipe instead of blink. So for the draft to work, they have, they need some very specific situations to be happening. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Mm -hmm. Sure. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Definitely, oh, the low will. I don't think this. I don't think this qualifies for a double save, but they do get a very important mango boost here. Is under attack. Okay. Mid lane, Travis here with the split push. The Ursa, his Battle Fury is very close. Needs uh, one gold. There you go. All right. All right. We're in recovery mode officially here. Still, 60 gold lead. But uh, I do rate Ursa as a better hero than AM. So there might still be a chance here for spawning the boys. 
So yeah, got to make sure we do that MP very frequently. And they might be able to record from this. The problem though is this huge stack. Can Jim sell farm it just yet? I guess he has a cell, should be fine. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Push. That is kind of awkward, right? Because you, you want to throw a melee hero, but uh, don't break her. You, you kind of want her to go afterwards, because she's going to heal whoever gets thrown first. But you only have ranged heroes. But we need two though, actually. Are they going to throw this TM? They don't just play TM. We love you, but... Uh... Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top sure. tower is under attack. True, true. I think if he has BKB, he can definitely be thrown. Um, now they are all here trying to choke spawn back into their side of the map, which right now is very slim because they don't have their normal jungle. They're about to lose their team on top, or at least that's what Atlantis wants to do. Let's see if they're going to be any defense being mounted. The Earth are not ready to fight, but the Zeus has that shard and has level 12. He is in fighting shape. The next fight kind of decides how the game's going to go. Like, if he doesn't get any kills, I feel like he's just going to be crippled for the rest of the game. Oh, the shard. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. Looks like it's 12 one Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Awkward fight. They needed a Rubik there. That's very tough. The X, uh, and I mean, remember, the X is not only... suffer more from this. They, they need to start getting kills, getting back control, but uh, they're just Dyer's like they have this support that cannot attack. do moves before they have items. You know, blink on Rubik, blink on Tusk are so necessary, but uh, they're being out farmed. MP farming way too fast. The Earth is recovering, but uh, it's kind of a weird issue to play from ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it's your human, I guess, your crit catapult. You know, just throw them at anyone. You can get vision, you can deny the creep, so feels good. Uh, not sure if the blink is back going to be possible. I don't know if the noob has Corsair turned on, if there's uh, some shards flying around and stuff like that. But yeah, this, this, this farming state doesn't really help spawn at all. They don't have Midas and the dude. Uh, okay, they're going for a level 32 Dawnbreaker. Okay, this doesn't look like a good idea. Dyer's middle tower is under attack.
is just too bad. I, I don't know how they recover from this game. Like, you know, the anti-mage, at least you have the natural blink. Uh, this game, Jimo Cell. I'm gonna go in for a BKB because he knows he's going to be forced into a fight. He's not gonna have a luxury to shape, so. Radiance top tower is under attack. It's all on him. Like he has to, he has to play flawlessly from uh, the next fights. This Zeus, like, I, I, his damage has been lacking. They try to go for play twice in a row. Just doesn't have enough damage. They're too far behind. All the heroes on the side of spawn, and all of those heroes in really have no water range. So, I uh, kind of tough to play the game like this. They're playing with him. Oh. A little creep. I just playing. Bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. It was bold, but uh, yeah, it's just they're being forced into these weird fights because you know they don't have blink on the task. And there's some holes. Oh, whoa, okay. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom yeah, tower no, is does. under attack. What a what a weird game. They still have ages. BKB is ready for the earth, huh? So they'll be forced into something though. Let's see if they're gonna be a dive past your force. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. 
Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I I'm very surprised. Okay, they're, they're going for a crazy buyback here. Radiance middle tower has fallen. 